All right, ladies and gentlemen, second piece of this lecture, just a few more problems, just to give you a little bit additional practice. So we're gonna evaluate our trig functions again by hand. All right, all of the directions are gonna say, evaluate the function without using a calculator, which means sketch the angle, label the reference triangle, and then find the specific ratio. So the first problem, the tangent of a negative seven pi over four. Remember, we like pi over fours because we can just count. So pi over four is 45, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I was going in the opposite rotation. So this is a negative seven pi over four, which means this is 45 degrees, okay? Which means this is also 45 degrees, one, one, radical two. So the tangent of an angle is y over x, okay? So that's going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. So our solution to this one is 1. All right, number 2, I want the sine of 240 degrees. So to get 240, I'm going to do 180 plus 60. So I'm going to go over to my 180, and then I'm going to add 60 degrees. So this is the 240. Notice it's a positive rotation. And I'm going to draw my little reference triangle. If this angle, sorry, I guess you can't see it. If this angle is 60, then this angle is 30. Okay, I'm in this third quadrant, so x is negative, so this is a negative 1. This is a negative radical 3, and the hypotenuse is 2. So the sine of 240 is y over h, so it's going to be a negative radical 3 over 2. And that one's done, so it's actually really fast to be able to do it by hand. All right, number three, the tangent of 150 degrees, okay? 150 is 30 degrees shy of 180, so this is 30, okay? There's my 150, here's my triangle. If this angle's 30, this angle's 60. This is a negative radical three, this is a positive one and two, okay? The tangent of 150 degrees is y over x, so it's gonna be one over a negative radical three. And I like to bring my radicals, or sorry, my negatives to the top, but I would take it either way, okay? All right, number four. All right, number four, I want the cosine of a negative 315 degrees. So I'm doing a negative rotation. 315 is 45 degrees shy of 360, so I'm going to rotate this direction, okay? There's my angle, this is 45, so that means that this is 45, positive, positive, radical 2. The cosine of an angle is x over h, so it's going to be 1 over radical 2. And I'm okay if you leave it like that, just in this chapter, okay? All right, last problem, number 5 shortest video, woohoo, is going to be the sine of a negative 5 pi over 6, okay? So I'm going to do a little conversion. Pi over 6 is 30 degrees, okay? Times 5 is a negative 150 degrees, all right? I'm going to draw my little angle. A negative 150 is 30 degrees shy, okay? So this is my negative rotation. This is a negative 150. Draw my handy dandy little triangle. Negative, radical three, negative one and two. And so I'll squeeze it in down here on the bottom. So the sine of the negative five pi over six is gonna be, sine is y over h. So it's a negative one over two. And in case you haven't noticed, the hypotenuse is never negative. And I'll explain that more when we get to our next couple of sections. Alrighty, let me give you your problems. Told you it was nice and sweet. It's just a few more examples to give you a little bit more to look at. They say evaluate the function without a calculator. And remember that means draw and label the reference triangle. I expect to see it and then answer the question. Number one, I want the sine of seven pi over six. Number two, I want the tangent of a negative three pi over four. Number three, I want the cosine 
of 2 pi over 3. And then the last one, number 4, I want the tangent of 7 pi over 6. Okay? So there you go. Let me put this guy in parentheses and then I'm consistent. All right, and that is 7 pi over 6. So good luck with your problems. Don't forget to draw the diagram because I expect to see it and I will actually ding you for it on a quiz or an exam. And I will see you tomorrow.